Hey guys, uh, in the last tutorial we created our static sprite class and before we continue to the next class I'm going to have to fix something real quick before I go to the next class next class we have to change this instead of this being private let's change it to protected since the next class is going to be deriving from this one and it's going to be using the same texture um, let's see real quick and also about this virtual, and this one is, is the wrong virtual one. It's supposed to be the the, the one below it. I completely messed up on that one. And let's see, hold on real quick. All right, guys. After you finish doing the initialize, the uh, I mean initialize. Um, I mean doing the virtual render. Um, take out the create texture. And that should, all, that should be private. Only the other two should be protected. And I think that's it for this class. If not, we'll come back to it. So let's create a next class. And that's going to be our animation class. Let's put animated sprite. And it's going to derive from static sprite. Okay, and here we can include, or oh, as already included. Uh, let's see. Well, we don't. Have, it's already included. Okay, so we'll start creating our our variables. Let's create an int. It will be our frame number, and that'll be the current frame that we are at, that we are on at at the moment. Int max frames. And that tells us how many maximum tech frames are in are in that uh, sprite max frames. Our height does the I mean the width. It doesn't matter either way. In frame is the width is the width of the texture, and the frame height will be the height of the texture. We will have a float last update. I'll explain that once we're in the once we are working on this update. It was basically the previous update that was currently on. And create also an animation update, an animation timer. Okay. And then we'll create a bool, a boolean of m and animate. It will tell us if we, if this um, sprite will be animated or not. And create a function that will do our animation and pass in a, a dt, a flow dt. And here we'll create our virtual initialize and pass, I mean virtual void, remember? Gotta remember that. Virtual void initialize and pass in a sharp pointer of file name. We'll create a void update, pass in a floating T. Uh, virtual void render and pass in uh, d3 dx vector 3 position and erect you know, right now we're going to create some some getters so it's going to be cons rect get rect and we'll return our m rect
And we have some setters. Which will set our width and height of our texture. Void set width and height. We pass in an int width int height and set the frame height to that to, to the frame width and height to that. Oh, I'm messing up here. Alright, that's why. In frame width equals width M frame height equals height. Uh, let's fix our frame width and height real quick. Make them members. Honestly, I think it's Hungarian notation. Not sure the actual name for these. But yeah, um. We'll have a void that will set the boolean if it's animating or not. So it'll set animating, set animation or anim animating, whatever you want to call it. Pass in the bool, animate, and set the anim animate to that. And we'll have a uh, function that will set our max frames for that sprite. Set max frames. So pass in a max frame. That will set it. And that's it for our animations class um let's see real quick okay let's go to the cpp file and in the constructor we'll s we'll set the m texture to null animation update or is i mean timer not update i'm confusing that equals zero m last update equals zero and let's create our our functions void animation animate sprite sprite initialize oh, animated sprite before Initialize with the file name, and we're gonna set the end frame number to zero. Max frames to zero. And M animate to false, and we'll pass in the animate. I mean our static sprite and initialize since it's deriving from this we don't have to create another one there's no reason to create another function for that that's a magic so magic world of creating deriving from a class pure magic alright our next will be our update boy animated sprite At the flow DT and that will we'll set our X our X dot left this will do our animation for setting the rec so we'll pass it the, the M rec dot left will equal to the current frame frame number Times the frame width. We'll set the M rec 
dot right to equal the m rec of the left plus the frame width so I'll set the top to equal to zero since it's always going to be zero m rec the bottom or just equal to the M frame width I mean height now I'm to M frame height so basically the left and right is the ones that are going to be doing our animation that will make the that will show the next frame once the frame number is being incremented so zero the frame width could be a zero and for the M rec for left will be a zero plus the frame width which will be the first frame and so on and so on okay we'll create our do animation function made it sprite do animation you, you know something I forgot in the other function I forgot to do our here to call in the do animation don't forget to do that Passing the DT. Anyways, back to our thing. Put the animation timer plus equals the DT. And if it's on animate, if it's animating, animating, then we'll go in here and, and do our animation. If the current update, the animation timer. Minus the last update. It's greater than the sprite update. We haven't declared it yet, but we'll, we'll declare it. Then we will increment our current frame or our frame number. I should call it for current frame, huh? Anyways. And say if the M frame number is greater than the max frames, then we'll set it back to zero. Set the current frame back to zero, which will do the loop. And then we'll set the last update. To equal that the current animation, the current update. Else, if it's not animating at all, then you set the frame number to zero, which will just show the first frame. That's it for our do animation class, and for the render, our last. Function to our last function to write is our render. And that will just be just called a DX manager. Uh, draw sprite. We'll pass in the M texture. Oh. We'll pass in the M texture. Direct render position. Oh, that's right. I forgot to do something real quick. We have to call our sprite update. And depending on what number you put in here, that's how fast it will animate. So, I think the bigger it is, the slower it will be. For now, you just put it at 100, but you can fix it once you're, once you're doing your, your animation. Let's compile it, and it, it compiled it successful. So, yeah, this is our animation class. 
our next class that we're going to be doing, we're going to do our entity class. I'll explain what entity is in the next tutorial, and then we'll create an entity manager. I'll explain those two uh, when I'm actually doing it. But yeah, after all that, then that's our engine for this DirectX tutorial. And then from there, you can just build from it and just create your own game. But yeah, I'll just keep explaining it once I'm in the final tutorial. So I'll see you guys in the next one, alright?